I have had the view for the past 24 years that the only way in which there will be peace in the Middle East is when the Arab nations know there is no division between the United States and Israel. It is unconscionable for us to refuse to recognize the right of the Jewish people to choose their own capital, regardless of what others may think. Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. Thanks to the courage of the people of the State of Israel, we witness the recreation of the modern State of Israel and the establishment of Jerusalem as its capital. It is truly a special city, and Israel is fortunate to call Jerusalem its capital. We support the process of building peace in the Middle East. It's not about the peace process, it's about recognizing Israel's capital. U.S. policy should recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital because Jerusalem has been the capital of the Jewish people for thousands of years and is the beating heart of modern Israel. Israel is the only nation on earth, I believe, where our embassy is not in the capital of the nation with which we have diplomatic relations. Israel has chosen Jerusalem. It's about time the United States went along. Not only um, is that what Israel wants, but this Congress has also said that that's what they support. The United States needs to finally make the definitive statement and move its embassy to Jerusalem. But any agreement with the Palestinian people must preserve Israel's identity as a Jewish state. And Jerusalem will remain the capital of Israel and it must remain undivided. It is time to officially recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. I am also directing the State Department to begin preparation to move the American Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Above all, our greatest hope is for peace, the universal yearning in every human soul. With today's action, I reaffirm my administration's long-standing commitment to a future of peace and security for the region. This is nothing more or less than a recognition of reality. It is also the right thing to do.